Hello friends. Heartbreaking photos captured a Danish woman giving water to a starving two-year-old Nigerian boy left for dead in the street by his family. The Nigerian boy, named Hope, was left for dead by his family because they thought an evil spirit was living in the boy. The emaciated little boy wandered the streets for eight months, feeding on the handouts of passers-by, until he was seen by Anya Ringgren Lowen of Denmark. Lovin, who now lives in Africa, found the boy on January 31st. Horrified by the child's condition, she leaned over to the baby, gave him water, wrapped him in a blanket and took him to the hospital. The woman is the founder of the Foundation for African Children, which is accused of witchcraft and involvement with unclean powers and therefore neglected and even killed. At the hospital, the baby was spared numerous worms, received daily blood transfusions, and is undergoing other restorative procedures. Hope's condition is stable now. He is taking food and responding to the medication he is receiving. Today he was sitting up and smiling at us. He's a strong boy. Two days after Lovin appealed for help to pay for the child's expensive medical bills, she received $1 million in donations from around the world. Emaciated by hunger, disease and a life of neglect, the tiny boy from Nigeria made the rounds of the world. No one now recognizes this smiling boy as a skinny, skeleton-like, frightened child. Back then, this photo became a symbol of humanity and gave hope and faith that the world is not without good people. And this photo story didn't end in one shot, it has a sequel and even a happy ending. After exactly one year, the good news about the rescued boy is no less. Today Hope is perfectly healthy and, this week he will be starting school for the first time. A year of love and care has given the little guy a very different view of life. If only all stories ended so positively. Friends, if you like this video, please like it and write your opinion in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.